Somehow I just love the uh, color of the, the box against the white here. It just looks beautiful. And these shoes are incredible. Like maybe the most eye-catching shoes I've ever bought before. So they look like this. Today is a special day because you guys have requested me to make a full shoe collection video. I do have a bunch of um, shoes that I've been buying over the past few years. So I will take you through the story of uh, my collection and how I started like six years ago where I visualized and used the law of attraction. Um, I visualized beautiful Christian Louboutin shoes. Let's go through them one by one. I'll put them all on the table over there. So one second. So here are all the shoes, or at least the ones that are in Dubai. I also have a few shoes in other countries, but this is uh, as good as it gets for now. I never saw them on the table like this before. So only now I realize I have an addiction and I'm, uh, I need help. If we set that aside, I'll show all of them one by one. And some of them have a bigger story than the others. I will first of all uh, try to estimate the value. So I think on average they're probably like 1.3k maybe dollars. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9 times 3. Let's say 27, 30 pairs because some of them are above each other. Let's say it's 32 pairs times I would say 1,300. That would be uh, $42,000 approximately. That's a lot. Yeah. I mean, 30 pairs of shoes already is a lot. Yes, it's uh, way too much actually. But I love this brand, Christian Louboutin. I mean, 90% of these shoes are Christian Louboutin. These pairs, this one has a very, very um, interesting story. This was the first pair I ever bought. And then there's another pair that I have in a bag. Let me just quickly get that. This pair. Maybe this is the best story. I will unbox at the very end because I haven't unboxed them yet. It's my latest acquisition, let's say. Shout out to Dubai, by the way. Incredible. I mean, view can say more than a thousand words. We've experienced rain today after so long. I know it rained today and now it's beautiful weather. It's just incredible. I love Dubai. Uh, I will also uh, show this one later, which is a Christian Louboutin backpack. I will show that as well. I definitely visualize that one as well. So, uh, let me start with, like I said, the most important important pair of Louboutin. This pair looks quite old and the reason for that is because they are quite old. I bought them second hand, I think probably now maybe six, seven years ago. So it's retail, if you buy them in the store, they would be like $1,500, $1,600 probably. I paid only $250 when I was working in a supermarket. So I, I put together quite a lot of money for me back then to buy a pair of shoes. It was my most expensive pair of shoes by far. Back then, maybe I usually spent like, I don't know, $40 <laughs> on a pair of shoes. So this was uh, definitely a uh, level up. And the, the nice thing is that I, I used them for law of attraction. So basically, whenever I put these on, I imagined that I was someone who was wealthy and rich and successful to the point where I could buy dozens of these shoes. I allowed these shoes to represent a version of myself that hadn't happened already. You know, looking at this now, I clearly became the person. That's why I wanted to, uh, to show you these shoes. Yeah, I was wearing them every day back then. You can see they're extremely uh, used. Like even before I bought them, they were used and then I used them even more. I, I love these shoes because they represent my journey from grocery store to who I am today. They're super classic. So you have these spikes. It's a signature of uh, Christian Louboutin and of course the red sole is also signature of Christian Louboutin. You have the logo Christian Louboutin right here. So the reason why um, such shoes are expensive is because all of these spikes are there by hand. Someone put them by hand. It's very very good quality. I actually played football with these. Wait, you played football with these? I did actually, yeah. <laughs> I know it's it, you should maybe not, but I did actually. And it just goes to show how sturdy they are. And uh, a couple of times I even was working with these shoes in the store. But isn't that funny that I was I was working in the grocery store and I was out in, on the floor, I was even in the cashier and I was wearing these shoes, not always, like extremely rarely, but a couple of times I remember I did it and I remember how a couple of customers were looking at these shoes and like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, is that fake? Exactly, they must have thought it's <laughs> fake, you know. But they didn't know that um, I'm smart enough to buy them secondhand and get them at a very good price. Okay, so that's uh, my first pair of Louboutin shoes. Just a few months later, I bought this wallet, also secondhand. Hand. This is a original Christian Louboutin wallet that matches perfectly to these shoes. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? 
And when I used this uh, wallet, I always imagined that I was super wealthy and I had unlimited money, even though I did not because I was still in the grocery store. And now I don't have any stress because I have American Express. <laughs> This is the cool card that gets us places. <laughs> it's actually a very good card. So first of all, it's like uh, no limit. And also I have a good concierge so I can um, uh, call them and they can get me into like fully booked restaurants and things. It's incredible. But yeah, so uh, th these two items, I will never ever get rid of them. And this one I'm wearing still every single day since probably six, seven years now, every single day. These spikes are now like, they lost their spikiness. Okay, let's take out the next pair of shoes. I am definitely going to talk about these later. These are very important. Let's talk about these. These are actually my uh, next pair of shoes that I bought after those. These I actually bought new from the store in Monaco probably like six years ago. Maybe I bought those like eight years ago to be honest. Uh, I was still in the supermarket but I was actually already then making some money online. I made some money with my YouTube channel, uh, with crypto and some trading, some investments. So I thought let me celebrate that. I went to Monaco just for like two, three days uh, with my family and I bought these and it was still a little bit too expensive but I thought this is a good um, step on the journey you know super beautiful I love these shoes I still to this day one of my favorite Louboutin shoes and I've worn them so much and honestly I still think they look really good I really like the color scheme on the shoes it's like a tan color scheme right yeah super suede very beautiful you will never find them in the store again your most used shoes I think these are definitely on that list let's take a look at those they don't have have the um, signature spikes but it has of course the signature soles. red soles so these I'm wearing a lot I must say because they are just I don't know super clean white sneakers go with everything and I, I like that it's some red details as well I would like to see your most stylish shoe most stylish yeah it's like really fancy shoe hmm well that would take me to probably the most expensive ones as well maybe I'll take these for later because those are the most expensive ones uh, maybe these I would say these are quite stylish as, as I would say these are quite, um, I don't know, like very aesthetic. They fit very well with the jeans. I'll put them on and you can see. Look at this. This actually fits my outfit today anyway, so I might as well just wear them for the rest of the video. We might as well do a foot check. I would say those are the most stylish ones because they're just like so unique, you know, like they, they have the signature spikes, they have this beautiful suede blue leather here, yeah, and this uh, textile detail, and then this beautiful uh, logo of Christian Louboutin, super, super beautiful, and of course, the red sole. And that goes well with my jeans, I think it's a D-squared jeans. Shout out to everyone who watched the vlog when I bought this. Let me know guys in the chat if uh, you uh, remember this vlog, this is from Amiri. I uh, bought it in the Dubai mall and this is also a Miri. Super nice. And this is my watch. Wow, today you decided to use the Jacob & Co. Yep, I did. Okay, so let's go to the next pair of shoes. <laughs> so let's go straight to these and just show them quickly. These ones I bought because I like them uh, for the signature spikes and it's this uh, military um, pattern with even military pattern down there. Of course the red spy, uh, red uh, soles. What's next? Let's maybe take a pair of uh, these ones also I've worn them a lot. Um, I actually have a very cool sweater from Christian Dior that fits very well with this uh, turquoise detail. Anyways, I like these shoes. Next up, I have these shoes. These are probably my most comfortable Christian Louboutin shoe. Um, I would say I wear these very, very uh, often. These not so much because they're just very hard to match with my other things. And people that don't see the spikes, well, the spikes are below. Look at that. Whoa. And here you can see that these shoes are worn way more. So th those are definitely among my most worn shoes and also among the shoes that get me the most compliments, by the way. I don't know why, but they just get me compliments. Because they look wicked. I think it's these uh, shark uh, teeth catches people's uh, attention. Uh, next up, these shoes, which are also one of my favorite shoes. Full spikes, which is super, super, super beautiful. And one thing that I like about these is that it matches perfectly my Bugatti, which is actually why I bought them because I was like, wow, look at this. It's pearl white, exactly like the color of my car. 
and you have the red soles which is the interior of my car. I don't know, it's just a perfect match made in heaven. So these are very artsy. Um, I was looking at these ones, is there a story behind this? I think I got them at the discount because I remember I liked them but I was like they're not perfect but because I think I got a discount of 30% I was like I might as well because I think first of all you have uh, Christian and it's all handmade with the uh, with the someone has been sewing this Louboutin French Louboutin Christian Louboutin <laughs> these are also quite um, artsy I would say like very aesthetic they have this beautiful detail the blue right there I think it looks amazing and then this uh, golden detail at the back. These um, I bought quite recently. Okay, these ones are like my top five favorites of yours. They're just actually not so comfortable, I must say. Really? Yeah, if they were very comfortable, I would wear them more. But they're very beautiful and they're very, very elegant and stylish and uh, definitely I like them. And this takes us to the um, Swarovski um, style of Christian Louboutin. This makes it way more expensive because Swarovski crystals are put there one by one by hand. I think this shoe probably was close to $2,000. Um, you have this pearl details here and this um, velvet up here and then some, I believe, snake skin here. Incredible. Some of these shoes could definitely be, uh, you know, placed on like uh, inst installations in the living room, you know, like, and these would fit that, uh, that description, I would say, like, they're just so beautiful. Let's talk about these shoes. These I wear sometimes because they're fully red, I think that's cool. You do lose the uh, red sole then because it's <laughs> all red already, you know. It's red on red. Yeah, and this is um, with spikes in the back as well, which they started doing recently. But uh, back um, a few years ago when I started uh, buying them, they never did this. These shoes I will talk about uh, later as well. These have the most incredible story you can imagine. Let's uh, diverge a little bit from Christian Louboutin and I'll show you all of my shoes that are not CL shoes. Let's start with these. These are Christian Dior. Um, I think they are... 1.5 thousand dollars if I remember correctly. They look really cool, I this must say. Cool. So this is like transparent and the fabric is behind it. Yeah. Like here, but here no. Yeah. That's really nice. Really cool. These are also uh, Dior. Usually I don't buy other than Louboutin, but these, when I saw them in the Dior store, I was like, wow. And these I'm also wearing almost every day now I'm wearing them a lot since like four or five months is my favorite shoe I would say so I feel a little bit bad for Louboutin like I feel like I'm cheating but I like them no red sole small logo detail right there Dior but the, the colors are just so incredible look at this this um, beige against this cream white and the silver and then white it's just such a beautiful beautiful combination of uh, colors when I was a very young kid I was I, I loved drawing and like painting and the colors and when I see these shoes it just reminds me of like how to combine beautiful colors with each other you know uh, next up that is not uh, Louboutin are these shoes these are Gucci probably like a thousand dollars something like that you can hardly tell it says Gucci, so it's more like just a shoe that is like an everyday shoe. Sometimes if I go for a walk, if, I, if I'm gonna go do something a little bit more sporty, I would wear these because there are no, no spikes that can be damaged or anything. These are the final shoes that are not Louboutin. These are Dolce & Gabbana and I think it's clear that Dolce & Gabbana trying to copy Louboutin a little bit. So the reason why I bought these is actually because I bought a jacket that has this print and then I saw these shoes as well and they basically go hand in hand so I thought I guess I have to buy both of them and these I actually bought in Singapore I remember that Very now nice. Singapore there's uh, there's uh, some video footage of me in the jacket and these shoes we'll put it on the screen right now uh, we chartered a beautiful uh, Boeing business jet and I was uh, wearing these let me see the yellow and blue ones together okay i feel like these are very similar in terms of style like the the way they're made but they're just different colors they're quite uh, similar but um <laughs> i never wore these unfortunately the stickers so, are still there so this is brand new yeah these um i remember when i bought them i bought them in dubai mall we made a vlog about it actually these are my only shoes that says cl on the back this is the detail that made me think let me buy them because i don't have any shoes that says cl 
Christian Louboutin. These, however, I wear sometimes. They would fit quite well with my outfit today. Yeah. Suede, super high quality leather. And I love this red and blue together. It looks so nice. Let's take these. I think it looks super eye-catching. And then all these different colors. Like, I love this color combined with this uh, this copper color. I don't know, like sometimes I feel like Christian, he just makes such beautiful shoes. And this is also such very interesting material. Feel this, Sohail. It's soft, so I guess the shoes are pretty comfortable, right? Yeah, quite comfy. Okay, let's go with these. These are now... These are your travel shoes. Definitely traveling. Like traveling with these are such a joy. They're so easy to, it's like a sock. You just put them on like a sock. They look like no other shoe in the world. And I think, these are the ones I get the most compliment for, um, next to those other I, uh, I, I talked about as well. I get so many compliments for this shoe because it, it almost looks a little bit alien. You can see how, how used it is. Like it's grinded down a lot. These spikes are almost gone. And uh, I also think these, uh, this fits very well together. So when I travel, I usually wear these and this. Let me then go through this now because this um, is a um, Christian Louboutin um, bag. They actually make only shoes, but they also make a little bit of bags. And this has, of course, the spikes and it's a uh, calf leather white. Super, super nice. Inside it's red. And I just took this actually over to uh, the Satoshi round table. Um, I was there a few weeks ago. This is the most exclusive crypto event in the world. Shout out to you crypto guys. Yeah, if you know, you know. Oh, here's a... Uh, <laughs> This is something I drew just because I was somehow in a call. I actually focus better when I uh, when I sit and like draw random stuff. When I was back in Monaco, when I bought these shoes, I actually saw one of these in the store, but I think it was black and I was like, wow. Imagine the day I can afford to buy one of those bags. I will be the happiest guy in the world. So sometimes I, I reflect on those moments and I realize, wow, I am super lucky to be able to afford these things that I just love so much. And look at the bottom of this. Boom. I like the fact that it's like completely flat. Yeah, exactly. So, so it sits on the table perfectly fine. Yeah, it's such a nice... Look at this. This is my favorite bag for sure. Maybe I can do a bag collection one time as well. Maybe at the end of the video I'll show you my other two, three bags I have. But look at this. Incredible. I love it. Let's uh, get um, 1,900 likes because that's how much this cost in dollars. <laughs> These are among my favorite shoes. I wear them a lot. CL on the side. This uh, nice uh, detail here goes well with this jacket, by the way. I wear them sometimes. And this is also another nice um, color combo. This orange color against the blue it's a super beautiful contrast, I would say. And uh, next up, let's go with uh, these. These I bought literally like two weeks ago. Looks super beautiful. I actually bought the same pair for my dad. He has the same. Actually, my whole family, they have uh, their own little collection of shoes because I don't like to only spoil myself. I like to spoil my family. So they all have um, Louboutin shoes themselves as well. I love this, uh, this uh, uh, pattern spikes red and like i said the these are the most comfortable i have this, this uh, material is super 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 comfy these are gonna become my most uh, worn shoes i think these are my racing shoes actually i knew it i yeah. was like i was looking at this shoe and i was like this seems like driver's shoes yeah they're inspired by um, formula one shoes or like racing shoes uh, they still have the red sole they are christian louboutin cl paris they're very comfy they have a very very um slim sole because when you race you want to have more connection to the pedals so as a racing driver you want to make sure that you can feel the throttle and the brake without having too much sole in between so that's why uh, these are good for racing now let's go to the heavy hitters these are the shoes that i've been wearing the most to the formula 2 paddock you can see on the screen right now that's my car and ralph is the driver uh, i've uh, sponsored him for three years in a row um, had a blast with that this is the logo of my uh, company the moon the moon group and um, i made these custom with green the moon and note that the moon is also in the watch so custom shoes for a custom watch 
let's let's talk about these before we go to the the real crazy shoes so these are more rocky i would say this is like if i was ever going to a rock concert i would wear these i'm sure you know, like this is perfect for that super beautiful uh, detailing that looks a little bit glimmerish can you see how they glimmer in the yes. in the light that looks really nice do you use this Sometimes. I mean, if you think about it, I have 30 shoes. Logically, it's very hard to wear all of them because that's one pair of shoes per okay. month and it just doesn't make sense. I don't know. These are very elegant, black, sticker still there. It's possible I only wore them once actually. Makes me feel bad. I need to wear them more. Look at these Swarovski crystals and these uh, flakes. Almost looks like diamond flaking somehow. Velvet material and of course Christian Louboutin you can see inside. Incredible shoes, incredible shoes. And uh, now let's talk about these, because these are the most expensive shoes I ever bought. Uh, these are probably around, was it $4,000? You have Swarovski crystals. So not only on the front, but the whole shoe here and on the inside as well. So it's thousands of crystals that have been hand put into place every now and then. If I want to go to like a beautiful event, like something more like fancy, something more elegant, Sometimes I wear these, they just look amazing, I would say. They're high top though, like I prefer the low tops, but high tops sometimes they can be really cool as well. Next up are these shoes that I literally picked up from the store yesterday, guys. You should go and check out that vlog. I'll put the link down below. So the story here is just incredible. So I made a shopping vlog in the Dubai mall a few weeks ago where I wanted to buy uh, shoes in the Christian Louboutin store and when I was buying shoes this uh, fan comes up to me and he says that he's so motivated and he loves to watch my vlogs he told me that he watched every single vlog and I was just like mind blown by that and he said to me that he wants to now buy his own pair of Louboutin shoes because he knew about my story of the, uh, the black shoes ah. Too many shoes, wow. So he knew about my story with my first pair of Louboutin uh, shoes. So he wanted to buy his own pair of shoes. And I was just so uh, excited to, to hear that story that I uh, secretly went over to the uh, to the counter in the store and I told them, look, I'll pay for his shoes now because I want to give back. You know, he watches every single vlog. You have to go and check that vlog as well. What happened later was that they called me from Christian Louboutin and they said, look, Carl, this fan who was uh, here in the store, he actually bought you a gift. Well, long story short, he bought me these pair of shoes which are three or four times more expensive than the shoes that I paid for him. I'm so grateful. Uh, I, I still have to think how to give back, you know, because if I give him something more expensive now, he will just buy it even more expensive because so, that's what happened now. I think I have to think creatively how to reward him. I already wore them uh, yesterday and some people when they buy expensive shoes, they are afraid of using them, but for sure not. Like if you have expensive shoes, you need to use them. That's the point of having beautiful things. Uh, these are around $3,000 and I got them for free. It's a nice gift. It's an incredible gift. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to reward him somehow. I'm gonna unbox these pairs of shoes and should I get my bags as well? Maybe people wanna see my, my bags. All right, let wow. me, uh, I have one interesting piece here to show as well. I found it in my closet. I didn't wear it for like a year. So this is um, another one of my bags that I really like. It's um, Christian Dior. I like the buckle, look at this. It's a very special detail. Very cool. So how much was this bag worth? This one, I think it was like a four thousand dollars three four thousand um, dollars and then this one has a little bit of a story because this one I also bought secondhand it's a Gucci bag um, I think for like a hundred dollars I think retail price was uh, probably way more than that I don't know exactly but I, I would imagine one thousand six hundred dollars probably wow. so I got a very good price I've never seen you use this bag I know I was wearing it for a few years but then when I bought this one I stopped using this one but this is super cool. I like the, the details, I like look at this, it's embroidered by hand. This classic Gucci print, Pour Amour, French. Shout out to all the French guys out there. A lot of fashion comes from France. Okay, so this is a very cool piece. Um, it is a custom crocodile jacket. And you can see here that you have the moon, handmade for Karl Runefeld. Some people, call me Carl Runefeld. <laughs> you guys decide. But 
uh, in my own native language it would be called Rune Fett. And here you can see the name as well. Unfortunately it broke here, I have to fix that. But yeah, Karl Runefeld, and then Bitcoin logo right there. On the other side, that's nice. Yeah, it's uh, super high quality because it's crocodile. So how much is this worth? I paid one Bitcoin when Bitcoin was $50,000, so it's a $50,000 jacket. Okay, let's now unbox my latest pair of shoes. So this is the experience of unboxing a pair of Christian Louboutin. Well, the, the bags and this is the box. Somehow I just love the uh, the color of the, the box against the white here. It just looks beautiful. And these shoes are incredible. Like these are really like maybe the most eye-catching shoes I've ever bought before. So it makes me excited to show you probably the craziest shoes you've ever seen. They look like this. Wow. That is like it, you almost need sunglasses to look at these. That's an interesting combo, red and orange underneath. Yeah, it's a little bit strange somehow. Look at this, all Swarovski crystals all over. And this super electric orange that just pops, you know. I'll show you both of them. And the shoe covers look like this. Feel the material here, it's very nice material. Wow, the attention to detail on this is so nice. Yeah, incredible. It's so soft. Even the, um, the shoelaces, the extra shoelaces come in this beautiful little uh, That's the shoelaces? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you always get one uh, spare. And then you usually get uh, uh, some uh, spare uh, crystals and spikes as well. So look at that. Wow, it's so bright. <laughs> These are the craziest shoes I've ever bought before. Try them on. Look, now all the other shoes look so dark. <laughs> exactly. Like, hold up there. None of them have even the yellows don't even stand out like these shoes no this is this is next level i'm so happy i bought them yeah you're not gonna see other people with these shoes because they're limited and they will not be made like this again electric they're so bright <laughs> <laughs> if i had kids i would buy them these shoes because then i couldn't lose them <laughs> i think uh, that concludes the shoe collection i would love to see this video get 5,000 likes. Remember the video I told you about where I paid for the shoes for one of my fans in the store as a surprise? Well, if you haven't seen it, it is right here right now. Go and watch it. I think you will really like it and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.